mercy and the blessings of God be with all of you. My name is Yasser Hadara. I'm going to be your MC for this evening. Um, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to our Cordoba Dialogues and to tonight's seminar with Dr. Tarek Ramadan, who will be more fully and more appropriately introduced in just a couple of moments. Um, should you need anything during this evening, if you need any information, directions, if you have any question on your mind that you need to ask that's really burning, that you can't uh, wait, I'm assuming I'm talking logistics and housekeeping, uh, there will be volunteers standing at the back of the room and by the door. You can identify them by the uh, red and black that they're wearing and by their uh, name tags that they're wearing on their chests. Uh, in terms of our program tonight, I'm going to just be here at the podium for just a few minutes uh, I, uh, to share a few remarks with you. Then I will invite Dr. Peter George, the president of McMaster University, to introduce our speaker for tonight. After his talk, we'll have some time for questions and answers. Um, and then uh, Dr. Aheem Bush Vishniak, our provost, will come up to thank the speaker. Um, and I'll close with a few housekeeping um, announcements. Um, I'm very grateful to McMaster University uh, for joining with us and helping us host uh, the Cordova Dialogues, which is a seminar series uh, looking at the role of faith in public life and looking at Islam and Muslims in Canada. Um, very grateful to uh, all of the academic units of McMaster and the student clubs that have joined with us and the community groups that have joined with us to make this event possible. I'm very grateful to all of you for being here, and I apologize that we were not able to secure a larger room. Uh, believe me, we tried. Uh, just uh, uh, spring break and midterms in high season make things difficult sometimes. Um, but hopefully uh, you will forgive us for uh, this uh, failing on our part, and you will still be able to take something away from tonight's event. Uh, tonight's event is, uh, is important for me personally because I remember when I first met Dr. Tariq Ramadan, and I remember uh, that I was part of the group that uh, organized his first North American tour. He had, he had visited North America before, but the first time that we did a multi-city tour for him, he came in 2001, in the summer, uh, and he started in Toronto. He spoke in Toronto, he spoke in Kingston, and then we went to the States, he spoke in Detroit, New York, went to Los Angeles, uh, one commitment in Dallas fell through. I'm sure they are still lamenting it to this day. Uh, but I had actually met Dr. Tarek Ramadan a year earlier when he came to Santa Clara. Uh, I was living in California. Don't ask why I moved to the land of snow. Uh, but he came to Santa Clara and he spoke, and he was introduced. He was introduced to the podium by another Tarek, and that was Tarek Abdel Wahid, uh, who is the first athlete born and raised in France to play in the NBA. Uh, played for the Denver Nuggets and a couple of other teams. Um, and Tarek shared with us a story about how he had been quoted making some public comments when he was living in France, and those comments betrayed uh, a sense of alienation, if you will. And he receives a phone call from this scholar, who was even then well known in Europe, although less, uh, maybe less known in North America, and he receives a phone call uh, from Dr. Ramadan, uh, and as Tarek said at that time, he said, he told me, he said, Tarek, watch yourself. Uh, watch your words. Yeah. Even then, uh, Dr. Ramadan was speaking from principle and was speaking from his belief that religious people, people of faith, and Muslims in particular, need to cultivate and need to have, as a matter of faith and as a matter of principle, a sense of belonging, and an ethic of contribution. And that we do not think of ourselves as being on the margins or as being alien to the societies that we have adopted and the countries that we have taken as our homes. And that was his message, and it has been his message for more than two decades now. Before the events of the last decade, before youth radicalization became the global buzzword and moderate Islam became the global bandwagon, uh, Dr. Ramadan was speaking to these ideas and was advancing this particular message. And I think this is important to understand because when you speak for truth and you stand for justice, you may sometimes be unpopular. 
but you will never lose your way. And I think it is fitting that we have with us uh, Dr. Peter George, who will introduce our speaker for tonight. Uh, Peter George has been a member of the McMaster community for 45 years, president for 15 years, and has consistently stood behind these values, values of inclusiveness, values of building community, values of uh, freedom of expression and the free discourse and, and the free intercourse of ideas. Um, so without further ado, please welcome to the podium the president of McMaster University, Dr. Peter George. Graduates, this could mean the opening of the worlds of chemistry or philosophy or psychology or biomechanics or economics. For graduate students, it's to help them understand how to deepen their knowledge of their discipline, how to get them to start it on important research projects, uh, how to work directly, the opportunity to work directly with leading experts in their disciplines. And I want to take this opportunity tonight to identify one of those experts, experts like our endowed chairholder in Global Islam, Dr. Leah Katim, who is here this evening. For faculty members, universities need to provide the opportunity to reach higher, consider more deeply, and to share with students, colleagues, and the broader community their expertise and the insights and benefits their work brings to society. As Jasper said, I've been at this university for 45 years, and I'm proud to say that McMaster excels at all of the above. That success wouldn't be possible if we weren't committed to thoughtful discourse and evidence-based learning. Universities, by their very nature, are places to ask questions, to approach solutions from new perspectives, find ways to expand our minds and our understanding of the most complex issues and theories. And that's why we have a special responsibility to engage our communities in discussion of some of the most challenging and controversial issues of our time. I've been looking forward very much to tonight's lecture as an opportunity to hear from one of the world's most prominent Islamic scholars. Tarek Ramadan was born in Switzerland. He studied philosophy and literature at the University of Geneva, went on to do his graduate work in Arabic and Islamic studies. He has held numerous academic positions and currently serves as Professor of Contemporary Islamic Studies at Oxford University and as President of EMN, the European Muslim Network in Brussels. He has been named one of the world's top 100 contemporary intellectuals and, write, and writes uh, uh, voluminously. And he's been named on lists uh, by Time Magazine and Foreign Policy Magazine, uh, Academics Love Lists. Yeah. He's actually envious of people who appear in top 100 lists. <laughs> um, but he he's writes and speaks broadly on the study of Islamic texts, identity, faith, citizenship, the importance of civic engagement, and contributions to community. It's a great pleasure to have the opportunity to join you in welcoming our guest speaker this evening, Dr. Tarek Ramadan, who will address us on the topic, Faith in Public Life. Please give a warm McMaster welcome, Professor Tarek. Thank you. Thank you, 